Now that our basic app is created, let's go back to the studio and explore three important panes. The three panes each have a unique function. The left pane displays a hierarchical view of all the controls on each screen or a thumbnail for each screen in your app. This helps you to easily navigate through the different screens in your app and to keep track of the controls used on each screen. So note how each corresponding element is highlighted as I select them in either the tree view or on the Canvas app. The middle pane displays the Canvas app that you're working on. This is where you'll create the layout and design of your app by adding, removing, and manipulating different controls. The right pane is where you can customize options such as layout, properties, and data sources for certain controls. This pane provides you with a high level of control over the visual appearance and functionality of your app. By utilizing these three panes, you'll have full control over every aspect of your app's design and functionality. Let's have a look at how to change the label here at the top on our browse screen. I'll change this to mentors. Now if I change it back to students, note the different locations that are updated. We can essentially edit this label three different ways. I can change it back to mentors here under properties and this will also then update in our Canvas app. We can also click on the advanced tab to edit properties for each element. Our records are shown here in what's called a gallery. We can select each of the fields to see what is being pulled in. If I click the top field, we can see this is labeled class. This one is pulling in the email address, and the bottom one is pulling in the first name. This arrow has an action attached to it that will call the selected record in the next screen. Let's preview the app and see what it does. We can see that when we click on the right icon, it brings us to the edit screen with the corresponding record selected. If we click on the left icon, we come back to the browse screen, and as we've seen in the last video, the plus icon will allow us to add another record. We don't necessarily need to click the preview button to test the functionality of these buttons. In fact, on our Canvas app, we can hold down the Alt key on a Windows or the Option key on a Mac to navigate the app the same way. In the next video, we'll take a look at the different screens and the controls on each screen.